Okay, so top secret investigation. Can you pass this FBI test? A special agent test. I said special agent test. Can we replay that? Is that, did that sound like special agent test? A special agent test. I'm not, that would be racist. I'm special agent test. What did that sound like? Special agent test. Are you guys ready? Here on reaction time. Follow me on Instagram, at tallfishman. Tag me and show me your scores uh, if you guys can pass. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pass. Could I be a good detective? Can you imagine me as a detective or an FBI agent? Yes. I'm a detective, baby. Well, you know what? That means I can pass this test. Let's see it. it. Says an FBI special agent is one of the hardest jobs to get into. According to statistics, less than 5% of the applicants are accepted. Wow. That means I'm gonna get accepted, right? Maybe. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, if you guys think you're gonna get accepted, take this test. Try to answer it before I do or before you see the answer and you'll be good to go. These are like riddles. Very tough riddles that you really have to think outside the box. I said pox. Outside the box. I can't talk. I don't need to talk. I just need to solve. Answering a number of questions can show if the candidate has a natural potential to develop creative thinking. That's what we need. Creative thinking. And logic-based reasoning skills. Thinking outside the box. Here we go. Let's do it. There's two pills. It says a serial killer kidnapped people and made them take one of two pills. One was harmless and the other was poisonous. <gasps> oh my god. Yes. Whichever pill a victim took, the serial killer took the other one. Each time the victims died and the serial killer survived. How did the killer always get the harmless pill? It's timed. Um, how did the killer always get the harmless pill? I have to say it has to do something with the cup of water. Um, it has nothing to do with the pills. There's poisonous. Poisonous water or poisonous drink in the cups. It has to be. I've seen this question before. Both pills were harmless. The poison was in the glass of water. Boom! Let's go! Detective. I'm already thinking of names. Detective reactions on time. What? Okay, here we go. We got the next one. These are beverages. What's the question? A man and a woman went to a restaurant for dinner. While they were waiting for the main dish, she ordered five drinks with ice because it was very hot. The woman drank four of them all at once. She drank all four drinks right here, while the man only drank one. After a while, the man became ill and died. The doctor said that all the drinks were poisoned. How? How? Maybe she's resistant. Why was the woman still alive? Are you guys ready? How come the man died and she was alive? Um, I had to do something with the ice. I remember this question. I forgot. No, uh, it's gonna be time up. No, 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 no. They only gave me like 10 seconds for this. Not fair. What's the answer? Okay, I didn't get this one. I, I think it has to do something with the ice. Oh, wait, the poison was in the ice. Since the woman had her drinks quickly, the ice didn't have time to melt. <gasps> and the man drank slowly, so the ice melted. Therefore, he drank the poison. Bro, you f up. Next up, the cassette. Imagine a scene. A man was found dead. He has a pistol in his hand and a cassette recorder next to him. The detective pressed the play button and listened to the message. It said, I am tired of this life and decided to stop my pain and suffering. And then a shot follows. Somehow the detective doesn't believe that it was suicide. Why does the detective think that it was a murder? Mm. This is hard. Maybe because there was no fingerprints on the gun. Uh, the cassette tape, uh, was it recording? Could it record on... What? That gives you no time. You need a lot more time for that. That's not fair. What's the answer? I just want to know. If the man killed himself, how could he re rewind the cassette to the beginning? Right! Because he said he just played it. The detective never rewinded the cassette. So it was a murder. Oh my god. We're doing really bad. Uh, especially me. This is going to be the last one. And then there's one more. But if you want to see that one, you got to check out the video. It's the Christmas mystery. Ho, 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 ho. A detective was on duty during the Christmas holidays. Jingle bells. The morning of December 25th, he went on a call. He rang the doorbell and a minute later, a sleepy house owner opened it. The guy was sleepy and a house owner. Cool. Detective said, your neighbor says that yesterday on Christmas Eve, he came to your place for a party. And while he was here, you broke into his house and stole some valuable items. And the owner of the home replied, that's not true. Our family celebrated Christmas Eve at our friend's place. We barely had time to decorate our Christmas tree. The detective says, no worries. It's quite obvious for me that your neighbor is a liar. How did the detective know? Oh, uh, well, originally when I looked at the photo, the Christmas tree wasn't even plugged in when I looked at this photo. But um, let me read again. 12 seconds later. Guys, I just figured it out. I went back and reread that and I noticed he said there was barely any time for us to decorate our Christmas tree. And if you guys look at the Christmas tree, you can actually see a missing light. That means he was not lying. The detective saw the missing light and believed the guy. That is my assumption. Let's see if I get it right. It has to be right because this is the last question for me. Come on. You got this. You got this. Let's see. Okay. What does it say? Answer. The Christmas tree lights are unplugged and actually missing one bulb. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. Let's go. And that is the FBI agent test. If you passed it, you actually have the ability to become an FBI agent. You can think creatively and check out the last question. It's going to be in the description. First link. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you guys want to be an FBI agent, a police officer, or some form of detective, let me know down in the comments. I wish you guys luck because it is very tough. But that's going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys soon. Hope you have a great one and peace out.